643 and still watching Dorian and Aaron in the Atlantic, but we're not going to be watching Aaron much longer. As has been the case throughout the history of this storm, it is very messy. And technically, it's not a true tropical cyclone anymore. It's so lopsided at this point. In fact, a lot of the moisture is actually being absorbed by a cold front up in the northeast. It's enhanced the rainfall in the northeast. It, the center still has 35 mile per hour winds, but because it's so elongating, it's going to be merging with a cold front later today. It's a post tropical cyclone, and it's just going to be basically what that means is a regular low pressure center and embedded within a cold front so it'll continue on up into Canada and we'll continue to enhance rainfall amounts but that's about it and enhancing the rip current risk a little bit along the northeast but uh, we're going to be not talking about Aaron after today. That'll be it. But we're going to keep talking about Dorian for a long time. It's moving away from Puerto Rico, but it's over open water now. And so it's been steadily strengthening ever since it left Puerto Rico. It's now a category one hurricane, no longer a tropical storm, 85 miles per hour. And at this point, we don't see any reason why it's not going to continue to intensify. And about the only thing that's going to stop it from uh, going up and up is going to be if there's a little bit of wind shear. And I certainly hope that's the case because right now the intensity forecast is calling it for to make it a strong category three. If it hits 130 mile per hour winds, right now the forecast is 125, but if it hits 130, that would be a category four hurricane. Anytime you got a category three or four making landfall, it's going to be huge impacts. Now, where the center is, where the worst of those winds are going to be, is going to be in a small area, and we don't know yet. It could be all the way in Miami, it could be all the way in the South Georgia coast. But the biggest story here is going to be how it's going to be slowing down as well. This is 24 hours. OK, this is Sunday night. That's Monday night, 24 hours with hurricane force winds and tremendous rain. You know it's going to flood. You know there are going to be significant power outages. There's going to be storm surge along the coast. Clearly, there are going to be major impacts. It looks like, especially in Florida, but can't rule out Georgia yet either. Of course, we'll keep you posted. It's not coming here, though. And in fact, today is just going to be sunny to mostly sunny skies. Highs around 102, the same temperatures as yesterday. But because the humidity is lower, it's going to feel a little bit better. Uh, the heat index, I mean, not much better, but the heat index 107 to 112 yesterday compared to 110 to 115 yesterday. So that's why we're not under a heat advisory. It's still going to get breezy this afternoon with gusts around 20 miles per hour. Tonight, clear to mostly clear skies. Still no rain to worry about. Another muggy night with lows around 79. Uh, let's talk about your weekend forecast. Labor Day weekend. Uh, is it going to stay dry for us? No, it looks like the sea breeze is going to come back, but I do think a lot of us, especially on Saturday, Sunday, are going to stay dry. It's just a 20% chance of rain Saturday. Partly cloudy. Highs around 97. It's not going to be that breezy this weekend. We get two more breezy days today and tomorrow. And then really the winds are going to be pretty light. Partly to mostly sunny skies for Sunday. Just a 10% chance for a few showers. Highs around 99. Looking ahead to Labor Day. I actually think Labor Day. Monday is our best chance of rain. We're bumping the rain chance up to a 30% chance of showers and storms. That's probably going to be the cloudiest day, but we're still talking about partly to mostly cloudy skies. It doesn't look like a washout at this point, but if there's an opportunity for rain, it is, does look like the best chance is going to be Labor Day. But it's still going to be mainly sea breeze stuff, so what does that mean? The best chance of rain through the entire Labor Day weekend looks like the afternoon hours, and it looks like the better chance will be near the coast. It's still going to be hot, but not quite as hot as it's been. Hopefully, we'll continue to avoid any heat advisories. We'll be right back after this break.